Good morning from Willow Springs International Raceway. We are back here at Horse Thief Mile, one of my all-time favorite tracks. Drove the Z out here. Got drivers meeting in about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll get out on track. It's gonna be a real fun day. day already accomplished one thing I've been working on is just showing up and driving good out of the box at least if it's a track I know I'm comfortable on this track I've driven it a couple times I know my car is set up and the first two laps already I'm feeling good driving good I like that no warm-up needed at least not a track I'm familiar with so that's goal number one already accomplished days off to a great start I pulled off track after only two laps because the guy in front of me spun out and is now beached in the dirt. So I figure it's gonna be a little while before they tow him out. So might as well come in, sit in the shade, cool off. It's gonna be a real hot day today. I think it's supposed to be like 110 or something crazy. So definitely gonna be taking it easy, trying not to overheat the car and trying not to overheat myself. First five or six laps down. Having an absolute blast. I love Horse Thief so much. They also have balcony open though, so I'm gonna have to come back up here a little bit later in the day, do some laps. The first drift event I ever drove was here at Balcony and I did a few after that, way back. I'm talking like when I was 17, 18. So it's definitely gonna be cool to come back after so long and do some laps here. But for now, I'm having too much fun on Horse Thief, so we're heading back over there. of the day down have an absolute blast i can't tell you how much i love this track 
already getting some tandems in, already flying off track, <laughs> having a great time. Burned through my first set of tires. These were some used uh, Amazon tires that I've had for a little while now and got them down to the cord. So we're gonna throw some fresh tires on, get back out there and continue to have a blast. That was really weird. The car just shut off mid-drift. Uh, I have no power to anything. No idea what's going on. So I'll have to get towed off and take it from there. Key on, nothing. Looks like I'm not the only one. That was an easy fix at least. The terminal came loose, uh, but it kind of looks broken. So I'm gonna dig into that a little bit and see what I can do. All right, well, that was about best case scenario. We weren't in a crazy tandem train, car didn't get ran into, and the fix was real easy. It looks like the actual battery terminal thing broke at some point and it just wasn't cranked down enough because one of the little ears broke off. So I got everything as tight as it could possibly be, but I'll definitely have to add that to a list of things to fix down the road. But I think we're gonna be good for today. With that fixed, just gonna cool myself down, let the car cool down a bit, and we'll get back out there, continue having fun.
right off the track. Yes. What a day that was. That was a seriously fun track day. I absolutely love Horse Thief. Definitely feeling comfortable and confident on that track, which is really cool because earlier this year, like on Drift Week, when I first drove it, that definitely was not the case. So it's cool to see some progress there. As I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, one of the goals for the day was to avoid needing a warm up, just to get out on track and drive well right out of the box. And that was definitely something that was achieved. And I tried to go into every track day with that kind of mindset, right? What do I want to accomplish? What do I want to learn? What do I want to grow in? Whatever it may be, I always try to have something that I can consider an accomplishment of the day. And I encourage you to do the same if you want to grow in your driving. And even if it's not drifting, if it's time attack or circuit or whatever, it's good on fun, non-competitive track days to still have some kind of goal that you're setting, right? Some kind of means of measuring your progress, I guess, if you will. At least for me, maybe it's not important for you and you just wanna go out and have fun, but even that can be seen as a goal, right? A lot of times I go to track days and that is my only goal. I just wanna have fun, drive all day, and that totally works. But for this day, my two goals were one, what I already said, which was showing up and driving good right out of the box, and that was accomplished, and two was literally surviving. I only say that because in the middle of the day, the temperatures got as high as 112 degrees. That's right, 112, it was so hot. And I don't mean just me surviving, but the car surviving too. Shout out to the Z because it did amazing. I think I did at 1.5 or six hot laps and a 
the temperature gauge was going up, but it didn't overheat. It just started to get hot. I did a cool down lap and it was fine. That was amazing. I really, really thought this car was gonna struggle or I was gonna have a lot more downtime than I did just due to the temps. So that goal was accomplished too. And it proved to me that even in the hottest and worst of weather, I can survive, right? I drank plenty of water and I did have a headache towards the end of the day, but to be expected, overall, I would say that goal was achieved too. The car didn't die and neither did I. <laughs> really though, that is a testament to how good a stock Z can be. Now, yes, I have done a few little things here and there to make sure this thing doesn't overheat, but really I haven't done anything crazy. It's still got a stock radiator and I don't even have an oil cooler. A lot of people are baffled by that because most people put oil coolers on these cars and I should and I probably will, but the fact that it doesn't have it and I can still drive it as hard as I do on the hottest days possible really says a lot about the car. So again, a shout out to this thing. I can't believe it has lasted this long and done me so well. It's kind of hard to believe I've had this thing for a little over a year now and I've done 20, 25 track events on it. Crazy. <laughs> I've had so much fun and grown so much with this car. I can't wait to see where it takes me from here. Anyways, I am definitely rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun. I didn't do a ton of vlogging and actually talking to you guys just because it was so hot. It was actually really difficult to film. I would film one or two clips and then my phone would turn off because it was overheating. <laughs> But anyways, sprinkled in some cool media from a few different people. So shout out to them, Locon Media and Daniel, aka Shukri Media. I probably said that wrong, but both homies, both awesome media guys, video and pictures. Thanks to them. Thanks to my girlfriend, Rachel, for always getting random B-roll clips. They all help make the video look better. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you'd like to see more of on track days like this, because as you guys can see, I'm doing a whole lot of track days and I'm always curious how you guys want me to document them. If it should be more vlog style, if you want to see more in-car stuff, I don't know. Let me know. I could do in-car stuff with like voiceovers and kind of talk you through how I'm driving. I could do more tutorial stuff. For now, I'm just having fun and trying to take you guys along for the experience. But like I said, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say and what you guys want to see. But as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, catch you guys in the next one. Okay, hold on, wait, before I go, I forgot to say, Drift Roulette is coming back to Apple Valley Speedway. I hope you guys are excited. If you follow me on social media, I have been spamming it like crazy because I am really excited. The first one did well, and I am so excited we have the opportunity to do it again. So Drift Roulette round two, Apple Valley Speedway, August 5th, make sure you're there. I'm gonna have some new merch. We've got a handful of new drivers, some fairly big name people that you'll find out later, either on YouTube or on social media. So be sure you're following me on Instagram. And yeah, be there. Whether you're gonna drive, be a spectator, whatever, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We have some really cool vendors coming out and setting up booths. There's always gonna be great food. Shout out to Juanitas, the whole gang with them. Their food was so good last time. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling, but August 5th, mark your calendars, Alpha Valley Speedway. I will see you guys there.